So very quickly, I am speaking right now to witches, oracles, shamans, mystics, and the like, who the accurate title for us, by the way, is master. Just know this, okay? I want to talk about how we leak power. And uh, you should listen to me because I have a Black Friday offer where I'm doing a buy one, get one free VIP days in San Francisco that must be invested in by 12 p.m. Friday um, and must be used at least one of them by December 20th, okay? All right, <clears throat> so the ways we leak power, which affects our money, which has us constantly being in boring as victim, um, which constantly has us um, having our men confused and um, not, you know, when you're in a powerful place, it brings out the power in a man, particularly a man who's ready to play that game or does play that game versus, you know, pandering to children, male children. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to get, there's so many ways, but I'm just going to give three in the interest of time because I got to go. One of the ways that we leak power is through our mind. This is like mindset 101 stuff. The when you're on Facebook, just like streaming through, right? When you're waking up in the middle of the night or you get up in the morning or before you go to bed and your brain goes and you just you you see how it just does its own thing without any effort on your own part. And it it speaks things that are not helpful. It speaks from a very survival place and you let it keep doing that, that's leaking. That's one of three. Letting it do that, because the brain is going to do what it does anyway. Even if you are already doing deep subconscious work and looking to override that programming, the brain is a machine on its own, whether you do something or not. And you're, the conscious work you do is of catching it, stopping it, and replacing it as often as possible. Coming back to as often as possible, because you cannot get rid of the brain. You were born with one. That's number one. The second way that you leak power is by um, allowing others to penetrate your knowing. Allowing others to penetrate your knowing. This is something that I could elaborate on a long time, but I'm not going to. In essence, allowing others to penetrate your knowing is again, all the, there's, there's so much noise everywhere. And so it's such a fierce game of guarding your mind from all the shit you read, strong opinions, right? They're everywhere. You leak power, you know, like don't do this at night. This whole taking in information, don't do this at night, don't do this first thing in the morning because that's when your subconscious is the most fervent. I'm not gonna go into, um, you can do your own footwork around this, but around the way your uh, theta waves, your, the brain waves shift as you're waking up and as you're going to sleep is like theta and then there's, I don't know the names of them, but they go because you're either preparing to go into sleep or preparing to come out of sleep. The subconscious is much more uh, sensitive in the more, before you wake up and before you go to sleep. So do not consume information because that's how you're more likely to be influenced by all these other voices and your job, your pivot, your, your greatness of power comes from your precision, your striking, your clarity, your focus. So don't do anything that's going to taint that, dilute that. Okay. This is another thing that we go into in your VIP day where you're leaking power. Okay. And then I'll show you how to clean that up in these ways and in the other ways that you may leaking power that I won't get to because there's so many ways that we leak power. Number three of the three ways that I'm talking about today that you leak power is through food. Poor food! So I'm talking about the whole body. Like we, these days, you gotta, if you're gonna really play a seven figure, multiple seven figure game, you gotta get your body together. You gotta get your mind together. You gotta get your spirit together. You gotta get your look together. You gotta get all of them together. And I'm telling you, as someone who was addicted to liquor and food, sugar, let's be more clear, <laughs> liquor and sugar, okay? That is another way that we leak power. It, Wherever it is that you have some kind of addiction or something that is an addiction or feels like an addiction, that's where you leak power. I'm telling you, you clean that up. December 12th was the last time I had my possessed by liquor experience. December 12th of last year, I have not had a drink or this whiff of a drink since December 12th of last year. Two weeks ago, I cut sugar in all its forms. Ketchup, sugar and ketchup, sugar and bread, 
and all those slick ways that sugar shows up in our food, I cut it out. When I tell you the level of visceral fight because the leaking of power is coming back into this condensed place that I'm then able to shoot out, that you will then be able to shoot out into the work that you do on stages, talking to clients on the phone, writing proposals, posting on Facebook, everywhere you write, talk, speak, that condensed power because you're no longer leaking. It's going to make you powerful. So if you want to clean up your leaking, then after you clean up your leaking, start to cultivate your power, create the combustion. Then what we do in a VIP day is look at what's your original body of work. What's the thing that's been beating in you since forever? Putting that down on paper, looking at where your vis time for you to where you're gonna get visible, how you're gonna get visible, what social media strategies are working. Which, by the way, here's another little nugget: social selling is what's happening and working now, and will be working for 2020, even with the economy collapse, even even more so with the economy, because folks are gonna be looking for who I can connect with. They're gonna want more intimacy, more truth, more direct connection. So if a VIP day is for you, in San Francisco, remember, so these are to happen in San Francisco, the deadline to register is this coming Friday, December um, by 12 p.m. Pacific. The regular investment for a VIP day with me is 15,000. When you invest by Friday at the $15,000 level, you get another one for free which by the way, you can use in Italy or France next year if you like, okay? So inbox me if this speaks to you and I would be delighted to connect with you if you are a natural born, natural born, witch, shaman, mystic, psychic, right? Deep seer, sh that's under the umbrella of master. That's actually your accurate title. Then inbox me and we shall take it from there. Au revoir.